don't just start driving. I don't bring driving in this state for about a year. That only had been as a kid. And I was coming between to his trailer out of Griffith, going to Griffith to Brisbane and back with Express, Express Market on. And I pulled up at the pillar. The first parking bay there was you going northbound on the left hand side. I was in the middle of the parking bay, it's a humongous parking bay, there was nothing around. I was the only vehicle there. I just done my notebook and poured coffee in that. Just about to get going. There was marker lights underneath the doors of the cab over. Bottom of the windows, it had to be about eight foot off the ground. And all of a sudden, there was this bang on the left hand side. And yeah, the coffee went everywhere. I shit myself. And this thing, whatever it was, it was hairy, whatever, smelt feral, and just, yeah, I'd seen it running off. And it was probably four or five steps, and it was gone over into the tree. I didn't stop until I got into Brisbane Market. And unloaded, then I went back around down to Rock Lee, like 10 minutes down the road, fuel up. And it wasn't until I went around the left hand side of the truck, I saw him in the left hand side of the passenger door, and I've never stopped there since. Yeah. Can't explain it, I don't know what it was, and I will not stop there. Just at the beginning of the Pilligar, north side of Coonabarra ran, made yourself a coffee, and all did your crap. logbook, all of that stuff. This was 1994 or 84, did you say? 94, when I was 18. I was only a kid. There's this massive bang. Coffee spilt yeah. everywhere. Put the logbook and that threw it in the bunk and this thing ran off. It probably not even five steps and this thing was I was in the middle of the park, mate. You know how big it is. You know, as you head toward Kern and you either go straight to Gunnedale or turn left to go narrow bright. So I'll tell you there, that park and on the left hand side, I was in the middle of that. And this thing probably took five steps if that and it was gone into the trees. You're sitting in the driver's seat. Like, you know, the cab overs, how high they are. The head was level with the top of the door where the bottom of the window comes down. I heard the bang, man. It was already gone. Right. It was running off. But the glow of the marker lights, like, you could see this thing was, yeah, it, I don't know what it was, but, yeah, freaky. And it was big. I'm six foot, and this thing made me look like a dwarf. Describe the shape of the thing that, big, that took off then. Big, huge, muscly, hairy. Yeti, yowie type thing. And so you just saw it run off, so you're just seeing the back of it? This thing was big, and his, like, its shoulders were like soccer ball hands. It was massive. You're reckoning the head was eight foot tall. What about across the shoulders? Three, four foot. It was big. Like, I'm down to six foot and 120 kilo, and it made me look like a kid. Did you see hair? Yeah. It was hairy. Feral just stunk and it was, yeah. It was like a really dark chocolatey brown type thing. Oh, I still get this, but I forget it now. <laughs> <laughs> that thing freaks me out. What time of night was it? Probably 11, 12 o'clock. Like, Summer, like, winter? Summer. So you've heard this massive bang, spilled your coffee, and then you see out of the passenger window something turn and run off, something big bang and then uh, the coffee went everywhere and I grabbed it and then I looked and this thing was, yeah, it was gone. It was just you know, you know the truth. Describe the arms and the legs to me. Really well defined. Really much like a bodybuilder but hairy, if that makes sense. Like a silverback gorilla, how they're really just massively and well defined. You could see the muscles under the hair. Were their arms in proportion to the body? Were they long or short? A bit longer, I suppose, but yeah, it's, you don't see bodybuilders like this thing. Tell me about that smell. Vile, absolutely vile. What did it remind you of? Nothing I've ever smelled before. Actually, the only closest thing I could think of is under the bottom of the silos, like where the conveyor belts run and you get all the wheat and shit that runs off and it gets wet, that really wet, fermented, rotten wheat. Smell? Yeah, it was woeful. Like, mate, roadkill smell like aftershave. Right. <laughs> when did you notice the stink? Before the bang. Did you have the windows open? No, I had them down because it was summer and the ignition wasn't working in the truck. 
the windows were down and then you noticed this really bad smell. And how long after that yeah. did you hear the... the I bang? actually thought a stock car was something pulled up behind me. There was no lights, there was no trucks, there was nothing. And when I drove off, there was nothing there. There was nothing there when I pulled up and there was nothing there when I left. You know, <clears throat> with that parking mate, it's like, anything that comes near you, you hear it from miles away because it's coming up over that hill. Then you see the lights. Like, you cannot miss anything going past you and this thing was there and it was gone. There was no vehicle, there was no lights, there was nothing. There was no car, no caravan, no motorbike, no nothing. It was just that thing. And I do not know what it was and I don't want to know and I will never, ever, ever stop there again while my ass points to the ground. Know what I saw. People don't believe that and just, yeah, I don't even bother talking about it, but I won't stop there again. I know what I saw and I know what it is. What was the distance between your truck and the wood line? That's a good 15 metres, 20 metres, more. 15, 20 metres, and you said it covered that in how many steps? Five steps. Massive, five, six steps. It was gone. This thing is big, eh? It was huge. You were parked facing north, so it bashes <coughs> your truck on the passenger side and then, yeah, and then moves ran, off. Yeah, ran back up to the left. It was different. Tell me about the, um, the dent in your truck. I had to pull the door apart because now I'm in door, right? I pulled the skin off and had to pop it back out by hand. You know how you get a stone chip in the windscreen and it, you get the crack in the middle and then you get circles around it where it radiates out like a spider web? The paint actually cracked like that and I've never seen anything like it since. We ain't just painted the truck. Just the sheer horsepower behind this thing. It, it rocked the truck. And this is a big Kenworth. And I had 66 bins of oranges on and this thing rocked the truck. I've got, no, oh, I've just got this one now to think about it. It's when it was walking away from you, did you get a feel if it was male or female? Female wouldn't have that amount of horsepower behind it. Like, this thing was freakishly strong. Like, I was overloaded, I was 44 tonne or something, this thing rocked the truck. That's pretty strong. Mm. Yeah. And that was back in the day when the truck was mechanical suspension, not airbag, so this thing rocked it. Do you drive through there much anymore? I know you said you don't stop there, but do you... Yeah, I used to have driven much for the last four months, but yeah, I used to do it every second night, and I will not stop there. A few mates won't stop there, but yeah, I've never met of anyone else that's actually had an experience like that. You're definitely in the club of, quite a large club now, of people who've had things like that happen in the Pilliga. Mm-hmm. I've got heaps of mates and they were old blokes who taught me how to drive and they just talk about Pilgrim Princess and Yowies and all that thing. Like, yeah, whatever. I just thought they were bent. Everything they said was right to the word, to the letter, to the size, to the description, everything. I know what I saw and I know what I felt and I know what I smelled and even now I break out and do this much old right and you know, it makes me sick. Yeah, I hate it. This many years afterwards, you're still getting a physical reaction when you think about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting on the bed doing leg kick things, just nah. So you said that some of the older truck drivers who taught you how to drive had told you about these stories, had they? Yeah, yeah. You just thought they were just journeying out like being a young black and that one. Have you ever been out there in the middle of the night and turned your lights off? No, and I have no don't. intention of doing it. <laughs> don't. <laughs> it's the most freakiest place on the planet I've been in. That joint, I will not stop at. In all your travels as a truck driver, you haven't haven't experienced anything like that elsewhere? Never. You pull up and fall up and down the East Coast, West Coast, everywhere. Like, that is the only place I won't stop. Do you go out bush much? Do you go out camping and... Yeah. Yeah, I'll do all that camping, fall driving, everything. Just not anywhere near the Pilliga. So how do you feel about the... Other areas other than the Pilliga? Doesn't worry me. The Pilliga, I won't stop ever, 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 ever again. This thing was massive. Instead of taking the metre and a half steps like we do when we run, this thing, it would have had to take two, three metres. It was taking big steps, this thing. Did you see a neck? The neck was like Tyson's neck, like started up around his ears and just come down like just thick as. And then this thing had traps. I don't know what this thing was lifting or moving or what thing it had hidden in the pillar, but this thing was huge. What shape was the head? Like a bowling ball from behind. It was just, this thing was massive. 
from his head to his neck, there wasn't much difference because the muscles started up from behind the neck and then just come down to big traps like halfway like shoulders. When it was moving, was it moving its arms at the same time? Yeah, like it just took off and it was quick. It was quick and the ground it covered in the short amount of distance, like, oh, I got goosebumps again. I hate this. Same amount of hair and length all the way from top to bottom? Pretty much. It wasn't super thick, like a shepherd, but not as thick, if that makes sense. And you said it was a brownish colour? Like a chocolate brown type thing. I won't talk to you any longer. <laughs> I really appreciate you sharing your story with us. It just adds to the huge pile of Pilliger reports that we have. I really appreciate you sharing that. If Australia had an army of them, nothing would stop them. This thing is just a machine, absolute machine. You know how orangutans like they've got the real fine fur and you can see their skin? It's like that. And I didn't see this thing coming, but once I saw it, I couldn't look away from it. I didn't see it, I didn't hear it. I smelt something before I heard the bang and it rocked the truck. Spooky, eh? Feel free to get in touch if this is brought up, bad memories. Yeah, no. But I hope I haven't given you nightmares tonight. Scares the crap out of me. There should be signs up there said like no camp and no nothing, and especially women and kids not to stop there. But like, it's just really, really wrong on all sorts of levels. That place. I'd love to try and get that past the local. Oh yeah, yeah, council. yeah. Good luck. Play <laughs> Can we have a it's sign it's saying "Danger, Yowies"? They should just shut the road off and go buy a gun it up. Can't go through anymore. You've just got to drive around. And that would be the best thing because that joint is just freaky. Yeah, it's wild. It's just. Bent. Oh, nah, seriously, it's just yuck. I'll just have to go back to jail and get and stop at that place at night. It is beyond frightened. It is a whole nother level. Of just, yeah. 30 odd years later, and I still break out in goosebumps and then get cold shivers about it. Jail, and as you know, I've done a decent bit of time, and that place scares the crap out. What more than jail? I've been to Goulburn, I've been to Bathurst, Long Bay, I've been to all of them. That that place scares the crap out of me. Worse than any of the jails then? Yep. And that's saying something.